Let me just say that the rest of the night went a lot better for everyone. Natalie towed me back to the table where the rest of our family sat, insisting that we hang out together a little as she had been too nervous to actually speak to me yet this day. Grace has been seeing someone, she announced softly, eyes shining. Margaret, who had been painfully listening to Meme describe her nasal polyps, snapped to attention. Mom and Dad stopped mid-bicker to pelt me with questions, but I stuck with my it's still a little early to talk about it story. Margaret raised an eyebrow but didn't say anything. Out of the corner of my eye, I scanned for Andrew. He and Natalie had been keeping a bit of a distance from each other out of concern for my tender feelings. He wasn't in range. And just what does this person do for a living? Meme demanded. He's not one of those impoverished teachers, is he? Your sister's managed to find jobs to pay a decent wage, Grace. I don't know why you can't. He's a doctor, I said, taking a sip of the gin and tonic the waiter brought over. What kind, Putin? Dad asked. A pediatric surgeon, I answered smoothly. Sip, sip. Hopefully the flush on my face could be attributed to my cocktail and not lying. Ooh, Nat sighed, her face breaking into an angelic smile. Oh, Grace. Wonderful, Dad said. Hold on to this one, Grace. She doesn't need to hold on to anything, Jim, Mom snapped. Honestly, you're her father. Do you really need to undermine her this way? Then they were off and running in another argument. How nice that poor Grace was finally off the list of things to worry about.